Hi friends, I am going to explain you about the syllabus of intermediate first year English. Syllabus of intermediate first year English has been developed into six modules. You can see here the six modules. Five of these six modules have four units, commonly known as prose, poetry, short story, language, and usage. Whereas the sixth one is different from the above five modules because it has the unit comprehension passages. I'll explain you again. Each of the first to five modules have one prose and a poetry is also given to each of the first five modules. A kind of short story is also given to each of the first to five modules. But language and usage, uh, the unit language and usage is given to six out of the six modules. But the sixth one is different here for having comprehension passages. Let's get into the module one. Module 1 itself has 4 units, prose, poetry, short story and language. Uh, prose of the module 1 is My Mother. The text of this lesson was taken from My Journey book which was written by our former President of India APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. And uh, a poetry is also given to module 1 that is A Little Grain of Gold by Ravindranath Tagore. Short story is also given to module 1 that is The Umbrella Man by Roald Dahl. Language and usage is also given to the module 1 that is parts of speech in English and articles. 8 marks are compulsory through these topics. So remember that 8 marks are compulsory through the topic of language and usage uh, from the first module. Then a kind of revision test has to be conducted. Module 2. Module 2 prose is aims at the star Saina Nawal. Saina Nawal is not the author of this particular lesson. Uh, but it is about Saina Nawal. Uh, the source of this lesson through completely internet. Then poetry of module 2 is The Royal Thumbs of Golconda by Sarojini Naidu. Short story of this module is How Much Land Does a Man Need? This is by Leo Tolstoy but uh, this unit has been taken out of the syllabus for this year. Next language and usage of module 2 is prepositions. So 4 marks are compulsory through this topic through this unit unit number 8 gives you the four marks if you go through the preparation of this unit you will be getting four out of the four marks there is no doubt so compulsory marks these are no you you can consider these as the compulsory marks then a revision test 2 is conducted is to be conducted then module number 3 prose is on the rules of the road ag gardener and uh, Poetry of the module number 3 is Climate Change. There is no author for this poem. Author is Anonymous. Short story is also given to the module number 3, the medal. Vibhuti Bhushan Bandopadhyaya. And language and usage for this module is tenses. So a kind of revision test will be also conducted. So remember that unit through the unit 12 you will be getting 4 marks compulsory. Module number 4 prose is spoken English and broken English by George Bernard Shaw. Poetry is stooping by woods on a snow evening by Robert Lee Frost. Short story of module number 4 is the antidote by R.K. Narayan. Language and usage of module number 4 is transformation of sentences through this content you will be having four marks so transformation of sentences are generally active voice passive voice direct and indirect speech uh, most of us also called as reporting and reported speech degrees of comparison uh, question tags so after finishing this through the fourth module you will be having a revision test module number five prose is if i were you by douglas james poetry is by Self-Dependence by Matthew Arnold. Short story of module 4 is A Service of Love by O. Henry. These three were also taken out of the syllabus for this year. Then a kind of revision test will be also conducted. Then sixth module, Language and Usage. Through the particular unit, you will be getting 32 marks. If you go through the preparation of these, you will be getting 32 marks easily. So the red colored uh, the red colored uh, titles were taken out of the syllabus if you go through the preparation of these so you will be getting 32 marks easily so sixth module language and usage is very very important so these are very easy very very important then comprehension of passages um, 
one passage is unknown passage and another one is known passage here, here you will be getting eight marks through the comprehension passages by understanding this unit you will be getting eight marks then question paper patterns marks for this question paper are 100 and the duration of appearing this question paper is three hours section a has five bits two bits are annotations and three bits are question answers here the meaning of annotation is very simple that adding some information to the given one here are the three annotations given uh, among the three few go through answering two of them correctly you will be awarded eight marks so then annotations the first bit annotations are completely from prose units only we have the five prose units among them one has been taken out of the syllabus so for this year if you go through the preparation of four prose units four prose contents you will be easily getting eight marks so then second bit is also annotations but it is about the poetry then here you have to remember one thing that annotations are asked through prose and poetry annotations are not asked through short stories this is very clear annotations are not asked through short stories annotations are only asked through prose and poetry but question answers are asked through prose poetry short stories so here are the question answers start bit is about the question answers through the prose contents and the fourth bit question answers are through the poetry contents and the fifth bit question answers through the short story contents here you can understand one thing annotations are asked through the prose and poetry but not through the short stories but question answers are asked through prose poetry and also short stories here in the section a every bit has three questions among the three questions you go through the answering of two of them correctly you will be awarded eight for each of the bits so phi edge of 40 then section b uh, so here it is a passage so after understanding this passage you have to go through the answering of six questions which were given below the passage this passage is generally through the short stories so here are the here are also six questions among the six questions if you answer four of them you will be awarded four marks two are given as choices here but i am asking you to go through the choices so you have to attempt the choices even then seventh bit is uh, it is uh, generally considered as an unknown passage but most of the times this uh, passage is also from our textbook the passages which are available at the end of our textbook then section c here you have to note one thing section c answers must be written at one place eighth bit is about articles a articles a and the here are the 10 questions among the 10 if you answer eight of them if you answer eight of them successfully you will be awarded four marks each question carries half mark as i was telling you that articles topic can give you four marks the four marks that is about articles then ninth bit is about prepositions here are the 10 questions if among these 10 if you go through answering eight of them correctly you will be awarded four marks then 10th bit uh, filling any four blanks with suitable words given in brackets the word the word verbs means here we have to understand that it is about a tenses if you learn the tenses correctly you will be easily getting these four marks here are the six questions if you go through answering a four of them in the correct way you will be awarded four marks easily then rewrite any four sentences as directed here uh, this is like transformation of sentences as i was telling you that transformation of sentences also gives you four marks here are the active voice, passive voice, direct and indirect speech, degrees of comparison, question tags. So if you go through, here are the six questions. If you go through four of them correctly, if you go through attempting four of them correctly, you will be awarded four marks easily. Then 12th bit, uh, rewrite any four of the following sentences, correcting the errors. Correcting the errors also can give you four marks. So it is about the fifth module. If you go through the fifth module exercises, you will be easily getting these four marks too. Supply the missing letters in any eight of the following words. Here are the 10 words. If you fill eight of them correctly, you will be awarded four marks. Each question carries half mark. Here you have to remember one thing. These all words, these 10 words are through completely your textbook. So these words are not given behind your textbook. These are completely through your textbook. So whenever you go through the reading of your textbook, you have to observe the spellings of words carefully so this bit gives you four marks 
Identify the silent consonants in any eight of the following words. If you observe the first word "bam," so you can find that the silent consonant. What is the silent consonant in that L? So we can easily identify. The title can give you a clue: silent consonants. Through this bit, you'll be easily scoring four marks by practicing. Then the fifteenth bit is identify the parts of speech of any eight of the following underlined words. If you go through the learning of parts of speech. perfectly these all become on your fingertips you will be easily getting four marks then match any eight of the following words in column a with their meanings in column b matching these words uh, can give you four marks here for the 17th bit here we have a and b questions you can answer any of them for the a here it is a pie chart a kind of information is given in the form of pie chart to understanding this pie chart you have to make a paragraph you have to convert this information into a paragraph that gives you four marks but b is easier than the a b question is easier than the a question because you have to convert this information into a tree diagram i think the bit here are the six questions here are the six transcriptions if you rewrite the four of them in ordinary english you will be awarded four marks friends here it is a hint that these these transcriptions are generally asked through the glossary parts after the lesson circle any four of the words that sound different with regard to the sounds of the bold letters here are the three words in each question here are six questions among the six if you answer four you will be awarded four one question carries one mark just finding a word which is different from remaining two gives you one mark 20th bit the last bit mention the number of syllables in any four of the following words this is very easy whenever we go through the classes you will be easily doing this i hope you have understood and enjoyed this video thank you